boys. Today, I actually got a challenge from Aaron. Basically, the challenge is I have to get five Devour stacks without the survivors finding out I have Devour. So I can't hit anyone after I get three stacks of Devour Hope. Otherwise, they would know I have Devour Hope. So I have to somehow pull off this trick to get a secret Mori without the survivors even knowing that I have five stacks of Devour yet. Okay, well, this is an interesting one. We're in on Larry's. I switched out Make Your Choice for Agitation. Just because I'm hoping it might speed up the whole process of... Oh, nice. That Undying was super clutch. I'm basically just hoping it would speed up the whole process of actually hooking the survivors after we have the three slugs. Which has been our downfall at the moment. They committed, okay. Sure. I don't want to go for him because he's running directly to the hook. And I want to get my Devour stack. Which is something I, I actually have to think about. Because that's been messing me up the past few games. Oh, Undying coming in clutch again. Oh, unlucky. I flicked left and she held W. Damn. She's actually playing really well. Hold W for me? No. Why is the Jeff not going for save? I am so confused. The Jeff ran directly towards the hook. I left him and he, he didn't get save. It's definitely the down I want though. Wonderful. Okay, just a little bit of patience and we got the down. The Zarina is death hook already. So we can't use her for a Devour stack now. So she's going to be the one that's going to have to be doing the saving. And we're going to have to down Jeff. He didn't play the pallet. We're going to have to down Jeff uh, and the two Nears. That's, that's fine. Nice. Okay. A little bit of a mess up on the blink. I think the, the chairs there, the hitbox is a little bit dodgy. But that's my bad. Well done, Jeff. Jeff, I would have absolutely murdered to have had you a few games ago. Because I was chasing a Jeff. That didn't want to get in a locker or use a vault for the life of him. We got our two... That's the Zarina. Okay, I'm not interested in her at all. Because even if I hook her, she's just dead. So the, the interest in her is, is absolutely zero. Wonderful. Okay, so now we know where one Nia is. Okay, we know where everybody is. This is Jeff, I hear him, okay. So I'll go for Jeff and there's somebody behind me. I'm hoping that's not the Zarina. Hey. It does sound a bit like a Zarina, I'm not gonna lie. Who is this? This is Zarina, okay. Maybe injuring her wouldn't be a bad idea. Interesting dumb tech, I guess. She's still there. They picked up the Jeff, okay. She's, they're over here. Wonderful, Jeff just vaulting into me. So that survivor has to be the other Nia, I imagine. I know that they don't have calm spirit because they all screamed. That's the Zarina still. The Zarina picking up. Oh, hello. Okay. I think once we slug this girl, because it's just how, how she's playing. She's playing very, um, very stealthy, urban evasion. Doesn't really want to be found. After we slug her, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle to find the other Nia. I just want the Zarina to be scared. It, unfortunately, they're running like they're so, so far from each other. Which is really bad for me. I, I need the three survivors to almost be like somewhat close. But they're just not lining up like that at all. Which is making it really, really tough. And we definitely don't have infinite time here. Because they are they are managing to get some quite good ge gem pressure as well. It might have even been worth going for the hook quickly there. But it's just so risky. Because you never know what they're going to do. Okay, I carry on for finding you again and again and again. I'm just going to put you on the floor. Provoking me too much. And I'm going to go for the survivor that I think... Infectious told me was in this corner somewhere. I was about to say we've got two of our Devour totems still up, but that was very short-lived. Maybe there's two here. Maybe there's two. Because I think that gen didn't actually have that much progress. And from the scratch marks I was seeing, it would make sense that there's two. I guess Jeff has life as well. Maybe. Best case scenario here, the Jeff picks up the Zarina. That would be pretty useful. You hold W, Jeff. You are. I can't hook the Zarina because she's just death. They picked up the other Nia, okay. That should be over here somewhere, if I remember. I hear a crow coming up, yep. It's her aggroing the pickup. Beautiful. Now I just need to find the other Nia, and I need the Zarina to play much more passive. That's the Zarina again. It's almost like she knows when I can see her, which is interesting. I'll get another tag, hopefully she runs away. Maybe it's just time to go for the hooks and just see if it lines up. Because if not, they're going to bleed out soon. Maybe we can get these two slugged and hooked before the Zarina saves them. Okay, there's one here. The Jeff is behind me. 
This is a tall order, to be honest. Especially if the Xena, uh, the Zarina just aggro's the hell out of save. Okay. Good. Okay, and now I need to just find the Jeff, who was in this corner. If he's just ran away, that would be terrible. If he's here anywhere, that would be absolutely perfect. I think at some point, I'm, I need to just make a play for something. And I think I need to hook her and then try and go for the Jeff. Try and find him somewhere. Are they not even going to save? Yeah, they just let her die. Yeah, there's no way I can get it this game. Okay, so we're on Blood Lodge Day 2, Game 2. And uh, I'm not giving up just yet. I, I really want to get this done. And I think I can. It's just... We just need the survivors to do exactly what we want them to do, which is obviously much easier said than done. Otherwise, we would have been done by now. And I think we've just been given an amazing opportunity to slug two right off the bat and just get our two devour stacks pretty much instantly. So let's go for that, I guess. I didn't wait. Here he is. He just jumped down right in front of me. All right. I don't know if he had an instant heal there or what. To be honest, it probably would have been smarter just to hook the Jonah there, but... I feel like I've committed to it at this point. I need to go for the down here. I think I second link that. Yeah, nice, okay. Wow, they completely healed the Jonah literally instantly. That was crazy. That's gonna be like a double heal with a medkit. Maybe even perks is up on top of that, actually. Nice, that was like a, a super last second adjustment, actually. I almost didn't see the Yui at all. I don't really want to second link this just because I don't want to uh, end up too close to the hook. And then losing my devour stack. Oh, what? That was such a late that hard. Okay. Fair enough. Now we're across here. Perfect. Nice. Okay. This is going to be devour stack two. There we go. That's my second devour stack whenever she does get unhooked. So now I guess we just start slugging it up and seeing what we can do. He just dropped down. He did. Okay. Is anyone going to save the Yui in time? They're leaving it really late. Okay, they did. Okay, we got the David down. The Yui, we cannot hook again because she's death hook. So we need to down Jonah. All right. I, I don't know what the plan was there. It's like he was waiting for me. Sure. And we need to find the James. Whatever he is. Get off of that, Yui. You and your dad hard. I'm fine. I don't need to chase you. I just need to find the other James. There he is. Okay. My guy was holding W. He believed in it. Fair enough. Now we uh, Perfect. Okay. Can we hook all of these guys in time? That is the question. If we just go for quick hooks, we could get it. Because we just need to down before they save. That's the thing. They can't... As soon as they save one person, we can't down anymore. So we need to get like a hook. And then two downs and two hooks before they save off of this hook. Essentially. That's okay. We have one more devour totem, so it doesn't matter that much. Our other slug is here. I can hook this, and then I just need a down on the David before they save. It was over here. Fully healed the Yui. I just need the Yui to be scared, and I need this David to not have the best chase in the world, and we're chilling. Come on. No way! Okay, Yui, save! Yui, please save. Please save, Yui. That's one? There's no way! Are we actually gonna get this? Are they gonna save the James in time? Oh my god. Is it happening? Save the James. Save the, save the James. Okay, if you don't understand what's happening, this is a completely hidden. They have no idea I have Devour Hope right now. And they're not exposed on their screen. Nothing at all. I just need to make sure they don't cleanse because that would be the worst thing to happen right now. They have no idea I have Devour whatsoever. Or they have no prompt on their screen. They don't know they're exposed or anything. Normally when you get to three stacks, you're exposed. But they don't find out until I down someone. And now this Yui... Just found out I have Devour Hope, and she's getting married! <laughs> Finally! Oh my god, this took me so long. Nice little present for the Yui there, and now we can go on our whim with our nice little ice hand nurse easter egg type thing that nurse gets after she morries. And we can go on a little mori spree. Hopefully they don't find my totem. I think the only one that could have known about it was the Yui. That was aggressive. My man just ran straight towards a five-stack Devour Nurse. I respect it. Did not care in the slightest. All right. Sure. I mean, I can I can deal with you right here if you want me to, Jonah. I'll go for this one, though. Also, my Infectious is just letting me know where everyone is. Thank you for playing, my friend. 
Oh, that's just so good. They had absolutely no idea I had Devour until I'd already morried someone. Like, they find out I have Devour, and then two seconds, I'm morrying someone. So there's just no counterplay to me just morrying someone out of the game. It's absolutely crazy. It's so hard to get this to work, but when it actually does, it's just so perfect. I don't know if any of these guys are on PC, but if they are, hopefully we get a somewhat interesting endgame chat because they shouldn't have expected that at all. That should have been a little bit of a like of what? And I'm sorry, James, but I have to morry you. I have to do it. My man is taking the distance. Come here, James. Oof. The tip of the tip. Well, James, thank you for playing, my friend. They don't want to talk to me. This is so sad. <laughs> GG's.